Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the features of 2024 Release Wave 1 for Dynamics V65 customer service. And there are a lot of them, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I wanted to talk about is the check configuration health in the admin center. Now, this was a feature that was actually added last release wave and I have to be honest I actually kind of missed that one so um, but in this release they're going to be more checks that are going to be performed when you're running this configuration health check inside of the admin center of customer service so currently you can access it by navigating to the home screen in the admin center and that's where you will also see the button that allows you to run that health check now it will also run uh, right in the background as well and this is also the place where you're going to be able to see any issues that you might have with those configurations so keep that in mind as well and then the next feature is the ability to be able to create multiple cases from an email if an email was sent to multiple inboxes so think about a customer sending you an email message or your support box right and it's also CCing another support email box and it's BCCing another support email box. So the way that this works is that there's going to be a case created for each email that was sent to each inbox. So if it was sent to three support email boxes, then three cases will be created. Now, I don't know if this is really a good thing or not because I am not a fan of creating multiple tickets for the same issue. So I'm kind of hoping that this feature is hopefully something that administrators can enable or disable and I would probably disable this. But again, it could be you could have situations where you do want this to happen. So that's one of those. So this feature is going to give agents Outlook-like experiences directly inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. So for example, we're gonna be able to drag and drop uh, these attachments into an email message inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. And we're gonna be able to do that before the email has been saved. A lot of times, first you would have to save the email and then you can add the attachment. So that's where this is gonna be uh, a little bit different. Other things that you're gonna be able to do uh, is uh, copying attachments from one email to the other one, um, downloading emails in bulk and then also uh, deleting them in bulk, exporting the attachments details to an Excel document and lots of other things as well. So all in all, I think this is gonna be a pretty nice feature. And it's always hard for customer service organizations to estimate volume, right, of cases and customer conversations. So forecasting has really, really helped with that and make that a lot easier. So we've had forecasting for cases for a while now, but in this release, there's gonna be more enhancements. So we're gonna be able to get those forecasts and visualize them uh, for daily, weekly, and monthly basis. And on top of that, we're also gonna be able to forecast case volumes at a 15 minute interval. So that's pretty cool, right? That we're gonna be able to, uh, to do that now. And when we're talking about co-pilot, um, getting relevant results with filters, I think that is a very, very important run. Now think about how organizations can have a ton of knowledge uh, materials, right? That they have accumulated over the years. So for example, think about how many different knowledge articles Microsoft must have, right? For their hardware, for software, for ERP, for um, CRM systems, all of those. Now it must take Copilot a while to dig through all those different knowledge articles, right? So it would be very helpful um, to actually have those filters, set those filters in place so that Copilot is going to find that information a lot faster, right? So for example, if an agent is working on cases that are related to an Xbox, right? There could be a filter to only show knowledge articles related to Xbox, and this will allow Copilot to find that a lot faster. So I think that's gonna be very nice. And then also, of course, 
being able to validate those responses, right? So this is going to give agents a better understanding where and how Copilot found answers to those questions. Because remember, Copilot is an assistant, right? So you still, as an agent, you still need to check and validate that the information that Copilot is giving you, that that is correct. So I think um, we're probably gonna see more of these types of enhancements all over the Copilot space, right? For all of those apps, that's what my guess is. But I think this is a great start here inside of customer service. And then if your organization is using Copilot, for example, in the sales hub, then you probably have seen the concept of prompts before, right? So my guess is that these automatic prompts that are mentioned for this particular uh, type of functionality give agents suggestions on other things that Copilot can help them with, right? Which can be very helpful if the agent is not aware of all the other ways that Copilot can help them and assist them. So that's what I'm thinking what this is. And then we also have a bunch of dialer enhancements, right? So this is again the dialer inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. And the first one is the enhancements that we're getting uh, when we're transferring to external numbers. Now, when an agent then transfers a call to an external number, he will be immediately disconnected from that call. And then if you have any recording or transcribing going on, all of that will be stopped as well. And another feature that I'm actually very excited about is the ability to transfer a call to a Microsoft Teams user through VoIP. So that means I can now transfer a call to a Teams user that does not have a Microsoft Teams phone number. So this is gonna be great, right? Because it's gonna be a lot cheaper for organizations because they will not need to purchase these phone numbers for all of their Teams licenses, right? We can now just go ahead and transfer to any user, uh, so to speak. So this is gonna be a very nice feature. And then another enhancement for outbound calling is the ability to be able to search for a contact or an account within that dialer, right? You're gonna be able to open a conversation or a customer row directly from that call history uh, inside that dialer. So that's nice as well. And of course, right, whenever you are working with a dialer, you wanna be able to test your microphone, right? And your headset, whatever, your speakers, whatever you need to test. And we're gonna be able to do that now before the call, during the call, although I wouldn't know why you would try to do that during the call, um, but also after the call, right? So this is gonna be a very important one. And then lastly, in this release, administrators are also gonna be able to enable feedback and ratings. And this has to do with the quality of that call. You've probably been on a Microsoft Teams call and then you get Right, that question at the end of that Teams call where it says like, what's the quality of this particular call that you were just on? And then you can type in four stars, three stars, et cetera. So that's kind of what, uh, what this is. And another one that has to do with dialing and the dialer, I should say, is this particular feature. And I think this is gonna be, this is a really good feature because this will allow agents to find other agents based on skills. So my guess is, right, we're assigning skills or characteristics, right, that we also have in field service. We're assigning them to agents and agents and now we're gonna be able to uh, filter and search for other agents based on the selected skills, right, that we are uh, selecting when we're looking for that. Now this one is, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, but this feature will help protect customer data as it's gonna allow administrators to configure rules to handle sensitive data inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. Now I'm assuming that those rules will not only mass data in forms and fields, and again, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure if it's doing that, but I would think so but that it will also be applied to data storage sessions for IVR and agents. Now, unfortunately, the release notes don't really have any details on how this is gonna be handled. So we're just gonna have to wait until this goes into public preview, which is currently set for April of this year. 
Now, this is a great one, right? Being able to now, if you have a voicemail message from a customer, being able to convert that into a case by just clicking a button that you have right on that ribbon on that it's not a ribbon anymore on that command bar sorry um so i think this is going to be a great feature uh for us to uh to have now there's going to be uh also some features in unified routing i'm actually only going to talk about three of the five and the first one is the ability to configure up to 200 route to queue rules in a work stream so this is important because previously uh, this was only we would only be able to configure 100 of those rules so this has now doubled right so it's a pretty big deal and then obviously the ability to use overflow for lengthy wait times for work items is another feature that is very very important because call centers often deal with the sudden spikes right where a lot of cases come in and a lot of conversations are coming in so being able to configure this overflow handling is really something that's necessary now previously we were limited right with this overflow type of stuff we were able to set up conditions and actions but, but again very limited right so on top of that we were only able to configure rules that would run before the work items were queued now with this enhancements admins can actually configure condition and actions before and after uh these are queued and they will be able to enter conditions when wait times are exceeded by a certain number of minutes so lots of new things uh, in here as well and then of course a feature that goes hand in hand with the sudden spikes in those customer conversations is the ability to immediately synchronize changes that are made to queue memberships right so today if you make a change let, let's say i have an agent in qa and i'm moving that agent from qa to qb that takes 50 minutes for that to actually synchronize back up to the application right it even says you have to wait 50 minutes and then after 50 minutes those changes uh, will become visible with this change that's going to be uh, immediate and i'm kind of hoping that other functionality will be added here so that all changes that we do uh, inside of Dynamics 365 customer service that they're going to be synchronized and pushed through uh, immediately. I hope you enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to hit that like button. Also don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching until next time.